there I am with two straws up my nose, absolutely petrified, turned to stone with fear. But John Chambers was just wonderful. He kept relaxing me and soothing me, uh, very much like a psychoanalyst would. And I almost fell asleep in the chair. I was that relaxed, and that's the only way I got through it, because then it has to be taken off, and that's the cast from which they made the latex head. And then when we finished that segment, I was presented with a latex head of me on a stand in a plastic box, which I gave to my son. He loved it. He loves things like that. And he put it on the table in his entryway of his apartment and scared the hell out of all the visitors. <laughs> but, you know, it only lasted about three or four years, and then it disintegrated. So much for your latex. I remember early on, I remember the makeup done by Dick Hamilton, another one of our geniuses, the 20th Century Fox, with the beard and the wig and that marvelous shawl. Yes, I remember that. And I remember playing him. I do. I do remember playing that old fart. Yes, he was a lovely old fart, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yes. On every one of my series, at three o'clock, I used to distribute personally or have my stand-in distribute Tussie Roll lollipops to the cast and the crew. Generally, the cast didn't take them, but the crew did. And it was the delight of my life. A some, somewhat ancient camera operator with a Tussie Roll lollipop stuck in his face, you know. And I did it at 3 o'clock or 3.30 because that's the terrible time. Lunch is over. Everyone really is half asleep and everyone wants to go home. And you need a little energy sort of thing. And it delighted me to do that. And I've done it all of my life. And around my neck at this point on the chain, I wear a golden Tootsie Roll lollipop. It was given to me by my makeup lady on a series that I did called Space Academy. And of course I was distributing my uh, Tootsie Roll lollipops. And I must say, because I'm a very naughty old man, uh, I would go to all the ladies on the set with the box of Tootsie Roll lollipops and say quite casually, will you join us in a friendly suck? Which I thought was perfectly all right because that's exactly what you do to a Tootsie Roll lollipop. Anyway, it was good for a good laugh. And um, she said, I must do something about that. So she took a Tootsie Roll lollipop to her jeweler and she said, make it in gold, quite small to be put on a chain. And I wear it with great pride and affection.